Hey everybody, Scott here for the Helix Channel. It's Monday, and as usual on Mondays, I've written a little song for you. A little tune, a little ditty. Hmm. Using uh, last Friday's preset, the old school, which is, you know, using some of the uh, old school amps like the, uh, the US Small Tweed and the uh, Tweed Blues. And then also the Triangle Fuzz. So this preset uses just that. Or I'm sorry, this song uses just that and a bass preset, of course. So, uh, shall we? content. What I'm doing today is I'm rearranging some IRs. I'm making some space for a new pack that I got from Ownhammer, uh, a 212 Vox extension cabinet. So I've already got their, uh, their 212 uh, AC30 and this is just a slightly different one. So it'll add some, you know, some different textures to my stuff, which is good. So what I'm doing is I'm uh, freeing up some space. I'm removing uh, a 410 Bogner that I really didn't love. I really like the uh, the 410 uh, Silverface Fender, which is what I'm moving here, and the 212 Vox AC30. So I'm just making some space for the other presets. So uh, I've already moved uh, this one up to there. That means I can clear this one because I know that I only save two per microphone. And what I do is I'm just moving up this one right here, and then I'm going to retitle it so that I can see the uh, see it a little easier. Uh, this 160 right here will be 16005 and this is a 160 fret. So then I can uh, get rid of both of these because I have already moved them. Now I know the next one I need to move is this one up here. Blah, blah, blah. I'll keep doing this until I have my space and then I'll uh, show you what to do when I add the other ones. Okay, now that I've freed up a bunch of space, I've got all my uh, 410 Silverface Fenders and my uh, 212 Vox AC30s. And for each one of those, I save a room uh, IR because I like to mix the IRs. And when you throw in a room IR, it really gives you that feeling of the of a smaller room or some room miking going on so that you can blend that in with the other mic. And if that's the kind of sound you're going for, which sometimes I do. So I like to have at least one of those per uh, uh, per cabinet, per set of IRs, for the clean ones anyways. For the, over, for the heavy ones, not so much because it's not as pleasant a sound, I, I don't find. But uh, now I've got all these uh, open ones right here so we can uh, find the new cabinet. Not really sure where it is. Oh, it's up here. There we go. 212 VXT. So we have a bunch of options to choose from. And I like the speaker combinations. So what I usually do is I will open up the mics and I will take the uh, a 57, let's say the 5705, let's start there. 
and then the 57 Fred. I only take two per because there's not enough of, of a change in them to me to make it worthwhile to having a bunch of them. And then uh, the 58 is actually an interesting microphone too. So I'll grab a couple of 58s. With the clean uh, cabs, it's, a, it's an interesting sound. So I'll grab the 58 Fred as well. Move those over. And then the, uh, I like the 70. I'll grab the five and the Fred as well. Now this actually takes up a lot of space, so uh, I'm going to grab 121.3, 121.3, 121 Fred. Now what I'll do is I will t tinker around with these and then see if these are the ones that I really like. If they're not, I will, uh, you know, grab a different one and then uh, replace them. So I end up moving around my IRs, my IRs quite a bit. Uh, just in the whole tinkering that I do. So there's that. I need a 414. And 414 Fred. And then a 421. Let's grab a close one, number two. And the numbers, this number, this, this second number here just means Say the cones here, this is uh, the zero, then the one, then two, then three, then four, all the way to till you get to the edge. And then this is the fret position. So the cones here, the, we've got a 45 degree mic right on the uh, cone, which I really love. I love that sound. So uh, I always put a fret in there for every single microphone because that turns out to be my favorite sound. And, uh, and then I'll grab a room. I've got a couple of extras here. So let's uh, go with a few mixes. And the mixes that I really like are like the OH-1-5. And the OH-2-F. I like those as well. Let's grab number three out of that one. And one more. I'm not crazy about the SP2s. Let's grab an OH1F as well. Say number six. There, now we've got a variety for that particular speaker cabinet. Good times. And that's the, uh, the thought process that goes on when I choose my IRs. I've got uh, the 410 Silverface, the 212 Vox AC30, the Vox uh, AC30 extension cabinet. 212 Marshall, which offers a ton of different speakers. That is a really versatile uh, pack by Ownhammer. And uh, the 412, uh, let's see, I've got a few 412 Bogners in there, but mostly 412 uh, Marshalls, then 412 Diesels, 412 Engels, and then a couple of Mesa Boogies on the end there. And there you go. Woohoo! There you go, everybody. Good times, another fun in the mix Monday. And uh, I'm already sending this uh, out to uh, a few viewers, the GarageBand files. They want to, you know, dissect them and rearrange them and just see what they, you know, sound like individually. So if you would like to uh, have these sent to me, just uh, email me right here, uh, your Dropbox, and I'll put it in your Dropbox, the GarageBand file. It's also compatible with Logic. So you can dissect it, do whatever the fuck you want with it, really, except for, you know, claim it's yours. You can do everything but that. So there's that. I will be back tomorrow. So please subscribe, share, like. You can go down into the description and purchase any one of my preset packs. The uh, Yacht Rock Volume 1 is coming along. I'll have more preset uh, previews for that tomorrow. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I will see you tomorrow. And until then, rock on.